The World Day of Remembrance for Road Traffic Victims is commemorated on 21st November every year to remember the many millions who have been seriously injured in traffic accidents and to acknowledge the suffering of affected victims, families and communities. With road traffic accidents cited as one of the major causes of deaths globally, Nigeria joins the rest of the world in developing a global plan for the decade of action. A correspondent, Simisola Adigun, tells us more in this next report. Road transportation is one of the most utilized means of movement for humans and cargo. But despite its flexibility and cost effectiveness, it holds major disadvantages. Approximately 1.3 million people die globally each year from road crashes, making it the eighth leading cause of deaths across all age groups. Sector commander of the Federal Road Safety Commission, FRSC, in Lagos, Olushegun Ogunbemide says flagrant disregard for traffic rules by motorists is a major cause of road crashes in Nigeria. The bad roads affect the condition of the vehicle and uh, when you happen to be a careless driver, maybe someone that is not always conscious of what he's doing, those bad roads can lead to crashes. And uh, even the other way around, the good road, the one you say, oh, very smooth express road, we've recorded more fatality on good roads due to the negligence of road users in being disciplined when it comes to speed. If FRC says you not go more than 90 kilometers per hour, and you see people going as high as one around 40 kilometers per hour, you cannot determine what will happen to the tire. There could be tire burst under high speed. The one thing that is guaranteed under that condition is fatality. Immediate medical attention and stabilization at crash sites can help save lives, but emergency services in Nigeria is faced with numerous constraints. Unfortunately, if you go around many states in Nigeria, you may not even have to find up to five ambulances. Lagos is actually trying, uh, you know, by having up to about, I think we have up to about 10 ambulances right now. But in some other states in Nigeria, you may not even find a single ambulance. So, um, in, in efficiency in the system, low manpower, and of course, low responses from the public are part of the problem that are, uh, you know, part of the constraint that is, uh, that are, that are, uh, militating against uh, you know, uh, emergency response to accident victims. Speaking on the legal response to road deaths and injuries, a legal practitioner reveals that most cases in Nigeria end up being settled out of court, thereby reducing the number of cases treated by the law. When there is negligence and somebody had hit another person and all that, most of the times Nigerians don't go to court to enforce their rights. Okay, most of the time they want to settle it out of court, they want to settle it in the community, they want to look for a way to settle it within society or somehow. Most times they don't go to court, but if you go to court, once negligence is established, they, you know, the, the defendant, okay, must part with damages to the victim. It is important, even where they settle it out of court or in communities and all that, Okay, the driver or the motorist always part with something, okay, for the victim. According to the FRSC, over 5,000 road crashes have been recorded with over 2,000 deaths and injuries in the first part of 2021. The deplorable state of roads and federal highways in the country is a source of major concern with citizens calling on the government to fulfill its mandate and provide funding for their maintenance. Simisola Digo, TV360, Lagos.